Hello, I'm George Redding, and welcome to Newsline. We're going to be taking a look at Campbell Soup Sacramento Plant. Campbell Soup Company Sacramento Plant began operations September 8, 1947 at its present location at 47th Avenue and Franklin Boulevard in Sacramento, California. The plant covers 136 acres with an operating area of 1,330,000 square feet and currently employs 1,700 people. The container manufacturing department annually produces 686 million cans. Production volumes for the past year include red and white label, 13,500,000 cases. Home cooking, Swanson broth and Franco-American, 7,100,000 cases. Food service and Chunky brand, 4,200,000 cases. Juices and Prego, 9,800,000 for a total of 34,600,000 cases. Warehouse storage capacity is currently 4 million cases. We're going to meet a number of people who helped make this one of the most successful operations in the Campbell Soup Company. We'll take a look at their operations and talk with them about their responsibilities, the various processes and operating philosophies that most affect the field sales force and the business units. Steve Wright is the plant manager here in Sacramento. And Steve, how about some opening comments and introductions? Thank you, George. Uh, I'd like to introduce some of the key players here at the Sacramento plant. Uh, our product managers who manage their product lines as a business interact with the business units and the sales force are John Stashevsky, whose business lines include uh, Chunky and uh, food service products, Chris Filio, who handles our red and white business along with International. Ned Henninghausen, who takes care of home cooking, Swanson broths, and Franco products. And Jim Mork, who handles juice and Prego. In addition to the product managers, another member of our team uh, that the sales company would interact with uh, significantly is Joe Battaglia, our manager of logistics. Thanks, Steve. Gentlemen, I'd like to ask a few general questions in regard to your positions as product managers. Jim, could you talk about your responsibilities and how they affect the triad concept? I think the easiest way to um, lay out the, the job title of, of product manager is to say it, it's uh, kind of a mini plant manager. Uh, you're responsible for your product line in every aspect, uh, from the raw ingredients coming into the plant to the uh, uh, sale to the consumer. Uh, there is a lot of contact, a lot more than we've had in the past with the business units and with the sales force. Um, in fact, we call it the triad now. Uh, we're all working together on the same team. And I think it's, it's brought a lot more uh, to the product. We get feedback from the field. We can make changes. Uh, if the sales company is um, doing a particular promotion, uh, we can help out by having more product available at that time. And I think the whole idea of having uh, people that are responsible for one product has really brought a lot to the company. Ned, do you have anything to add to that? Well, our emphasis on the manufacturing leg of the triad, the business unit, uh, sales group, and manufacturing uh, three-legged stools, it's called. Not only do we attempt to work on the cost of the product within the plant and involve the employees in the process, but we're also interfacing with the business units on product development issues, process improvement issues, and also working with the sales uh, unit and maintaining a regional forecasting model and trying to enhance customer service. John, I think at this point it would be interesting to take a look inside the Sacramento plant. If you could talk us through the process from start to finish of one of your product lines. Okay. Um... For our chunky products at the Sacramento plant, we purchase ingredients and packaging material from various vendors through the state of California. We bring in tomatoes, carrots, potatoes. They're washed, diced, and then they are transported to blending kettles where they are mixed, heated to a temperature, and then we send them to filling. Cans are filled, they go through a processing vessel which is a hydrostatic cooker or an AB cooker, and then they are transported by can line to a labeling machine, onto palletizing, and then to the warehouse, where they're stored until they're distributed to our customers. Joe Battaglia, could you describe your responsibilities here in Sacramento? 
Certainly, uh, I'm the logistics manager here at the plant, and that involves a couple things, uh, major things, I would say. That is support to the product managers in their production effort on one hand, and service to our customers by shipping them the products they want when they want it and, and in the condition they want it on the other hand. Joe, I know that in support of the production effort, you have a planning department headed by Charles Sardo, who creates a plan and a daily production schedule to produce product for customers when needed. In addition to that, that plan drives, if you will, the ingredients that we have to purchase and bring in in order to produce those particular products. In regard to service to the customer, you also provide transportation to get product to the customer or schedule appointments for the customer's own truck to pick up their product. We have one other uh, aspect here that I might mention. We have an office called our customer service office. It was formerly called the sales office. It's a two-person office led by Linda Cook. And basically, they are the liaison between us, the plant, and the sales regions. Uh, they do a lot of things, but some of the things for the, for, uh, for the purposes of our discussion here involve uh, putting in emergency orders that don't have time to process through the system properly, to correct any orders, to change orders, and to more or less just keep the communication open between the sales regions and our plant. One of Joe's responsibilities, as just mentioned, is providing the storage and transportation of the product. Ralph Jones handles all of that as manager of stores and shipping, Sacramento plant. Ralph, what are your responsibilities? Briefly, responsibilities are receiving and storing finished product, shipping finished product to customers. Our volume will average probably 100,000 cases a day. Of course, there are peaks and valleys. So it'll go from anywhere from 80,000 to 200,000. We have roughly 10 acres of storage space under roof. And uh, our inventory runs somewhere in the neighborhood of 4 million cases. OK, we'll be right back, right after this message. Are you into the books or a bit of a clown? A Broadway baby or just hanging around? What kind of cat? Welcome back to News Live. I'm George Redding. I would like to ask any of you to react to this question. What does just-in-time manufacturing mean to your particular line? Just-in-time manufacturing to the red and white line means getting the product or the ingredient as quick as we can and manufacturing it as quickly as possible. Therefore, the ingredient we want, we want to get in just before we use it. And on the other end, we want to manufacture the product and get it to our consumer as quick as possible. In other words, uh, bring it in, process it, and get it out. Okay, our product uh, getting out of the plant quicker, uh, that's a lot of things all tied into one, but the, the catchphrase is just in time. Um, what we've done is to reduce inventories of finished products and in our ingredients. We've actually reduced our cooler storage in the plant. Uh, we don't have the big cushion we've once had. We depend on our suppliers and we have a select supplier program where if our supplier doesn't meet our needs, in other words, if they can't supply us with ingredients on a short term, then they're not going to be our supplier anymore. So we have a lot less in process, a lot less uh, finished goods and a lot less in process goods. And so the product going out is fresher and uh, we're narrowing that gap more and more so that uh, we might not end up like a bakery, but we're sure heading that way. Quality assurance is a term that we hear a good deal about at Campbell Soups. What does it mean in Sacramento? John? Quality assurance, again, uh, we've been known, our reputation as a company has been uh, that we manufacture a quality product. And it's been that way since the company was formed, I guess, back in 1869. But for years, we sort of held back from giving that to the hourly people, giving them that responsibility. But in the last six years, seven years, we've realized that quality really starts with the employee on the floor. They control their own process. They're the ones that 
put out the quality product. As a product manager, I can't do that from sitting behind a desk or just walking through the plant. They deal with it every day. They ensure that we have quality ingredients going into the product. They ensure that we have the right labels on the can, that the product's processed at the right temperature and time. Uh, it goes all the way out to the shipping dock. They're the ones that make sure the right product goes on the right truck to the right customer. That's quality assurance. Jim? They're responsible for the product that they make. There isn't anybody looking over their shoulder. And they actually are the uh, manufacturer and the inspector. And the people uh, have responded to this. In fact, uh, I think they actually go home feeling better about doing the job that they're doing because they know they have the responsibility for doing the product. One of the key elements that impacts significantly on the success of the triad concept is really the relationship between the product manager and the brand manager. Ned and Chris, as product managers, tell me if you would how that relationship works. Ned, you first. We're on constant communication, constant contact on the telephone. Primarily, we're attempting to resolve delivery problems to the customer, or if there's a quality problem, uh, we'll also become involved in that. We have visited uh, the customers, the retail customers I'm speaking of, to uh, assure them that we'll work with them in any way that we can to, to assure the product quality is right. Chris? We also go through new packaging issues with the brand managers and test out new ideas with them. And they talk to us of uh, ways they can market the product a little different, packaging and issues like that. But there's a very close link between the brand manager and the product manager. Another key term at Campbell's Soups is employee involvement. What does that mean to Sacramento? Ned? That's something we've had a lot of success with at Sacramento. We have a very uh, proficient quality circle group that are currently facilitating over 50 quality circles. We have an active task force uh, program underway for resolving work issues. We also have uh, work teams which might be formed to address a specific manufacturing problem. And there are also a variety of, uh, of other opportunities for employees to get involved. Employee involvement means to me is the ability of an employee to come up and express a new way to do something, how to change something for the better, getting involved in a task force or a quality circle, trying to solve problems and let us, instead of having one guy at the top trying to correct all the problems, what we do is try to get people involved let them tell us the best way to get the problem corrected. In addition to that, people buy into the solution, become part of the solution, and have a sense of ownership in what's going on. It is really key to what we're trying to do. It is probably, along with training, the, the most important element of our whole program. Finally, we haven't talked about training yet. Steve? Uh, it's our opinion that training is probably the most significant thing we do. Uh, our training group is made up of four monthly salaried individuals and a team of trainers that work in the training area all the way from uh, college courses down through operator control and on the job training right on our lines. We feel very strongly that uh, training is the name of the game. Uh, we feel that anybody with enough money can buy technology. It's going to be our people that are gonna make us successful. And it's our people that we have to invest our time in because that's the future of our company. The Sacramento plant echoes the first statement of principles of the Campbell Soup Company. We are a company dedicated to quality and excellence in everything we do. Now we'd like to leave you with some thoughts on that principle from some of Campbell Soup's most important people commenting on their jobs, their incentives to make a better product, and their concept of quality. When I go to a grocery store, I'm actually like a salesman, because if I see someone shopping around seeing which spaghetti sauce they're going to buy, I'll always direct them to Prego, because I know it's an excellent product. I know that every ingredient that we put into the product is of the highest quality. I know it tastes great, because I taste just about every kettle. Quality control means the highest possible product, the best quality product for our consumers. My incentive is I just, I just try the best I can do. Uh, I have people that say that, you know, they like our product. And uh, to me, that just means it, uh, you know, gives you a little more pride in the company. It means you take a little more time to do what you're doing.
Me personally, I guess it's uh, just pride and workmanship. Quality means that when you open up a can of any kind, you're getting a perfect, a satisfying product. Quality means to me uh, running a can to production or to filling that I would buy a can of soup out of. Quality means a good product, excellent product that's going to go to the market. We are responsible for ourselves in it. Uh, we should have the utmost quality of the product that we ship out. That uh, it's our responsibility to be sure that everything is right. All the people know uh, from from the top to the bottom that they're producing uh, a, a container for human consumable products, and uh, I think that's probably the the greatest incentive that any of them have. Quality also to me is is working in an environment where everyone works together and. They enjoy working together. I work with a great bunch of people for a great company. And I like my job, and I like working for Camel Soup. Camel Soup's been very good to me. I do take pride in my in my job, and I do. This is my livelihood, so we have to put out the best product possible.